this guy that I work with that has this Diavel. I actually, uh, I was picking up my bike when he was looking to buy that thing. The old carbon. Oh. Hate it when I can't check and see if my battery's dead, so I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just pull over? I'll pull over and I'll change the battery in that way, because it'll still be running. No, it's not still running. So the tough thing about this is I don't know where I just left off talking because for a minute I was talking about doing the bourbon trail with Kevin Brunt Tracer. I was talking about well we're going to be going Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So we're going down Friday, Friday night we're going to stay overnight and Saturday morning we're going to wake up and try and hit a couple of distilleries and then go down to Nashville immediately after that. Stay down there Sunday, leave Monday morning to come back and uh, stop again in Kentucky and do the bourbon, a couple of the bourbon trail again and it's gonna be interesting. The people I work with were like, hey, we're gonna be doing this stuff on Friday night into Saturday morning, so like 11 p.m. to 4 or 5 a.m. on Friday night, Saturday morning and then we're going to do the same thing Sunday night into Monday morning. And then Tuesday morning at 5, we have something else. Like, I'm the only guy that they trust to do this type of thing. Because we work on a live system that's it's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And we have, to, we have to do changes in the middle of the night in case something goes wrong. It impacts as few people as possible. What I just did there, since that guy was creeping up, I knew that he had a less chance of hitting this car and more of a chance of hitting me. So I sped up to get close to this car in case he started turning in, minimize my risk. But now I'm in this lady's blind spot and she's driving halfway over the line. My boss told me, he goes, well, why don't you bring your laptop, do the maintenance while you're there, but don't take any vacation days at all. It's like, deal. You know, work, work can be great if your boss knows how to deal with your work-life balance. There's been another instance where he was great too. I guess I shouldn't talk at a light. One of my relatives had a heart attack and I was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna, gotta go to the hospital. So, you know, I'll take a, take a vacation day. And I think I was there, got there at like 6 a.m. The heart attack happened at like 8 a.m. And I was like, okay, I'll just submit a vacation day and we'll be good to go. And he's like, no, you don't need to. I mean, you were here. You know, and that, that way emergencies don't cause more work for you. You know, it's nice having a boss that's very relaxed in things. Relaxed in most things. So there's a bunch of distilleries down there and they've all banded together with a tourist trap saying, hey, let's create this thing called the Bourbon Trail and we'll give everybody, well, people can print out a little passport. Like people can print out a little passport and then they'll be able to get it stamped at every single one of them. And if they do that, then we'll give them a t-shirt. Like, oh, okay. So we're gonna go down, hit a couple of them on the way down, stay the night, hit to Nashville. And then again, on the way back up, hit a couple more. I don't get blasted by this 18-wheeler here, huh? That'd be tragic. Be good footage, though, huh? A. Well, speaking of A, hockey is among us. Its start is imminent. And once again, the Blackhawks are looking oh so good. Like football is happening right now. I could care less about football. Somebody asked me, "Oh yeah, did you watch the you watch the game?" I'm like I would have to accidentally see some football for in order for me to watch it. Questionable. I know you guys have been a gallery review too, don't I? I said I was gonna do one. Maybe I'll do one in Nashville. It'll be a nice setting. I don't know. Maybe I'll find another beautiful day like this to go out. Today is nasty. And now here's Ollie Williams with the Blackie Weather Forecast. Ollie? It's like a million percent chance of rain and somehow it's not raining. Thanks, Ollie. Zoom. So that lady back there that was in the high vis jacket. She's been standing on street corners with a disabled veteran 
give me money on four type of cardboard sign. She's over there on a cell phone. You gotta be kidding me. Like, I don't I don't know anyone else's Oh, that's a clever spot. I don't know anybody else's financial and physical situation, but if you're standing on the corner begging, you better have nothing. You better have no job, you better have no money, you better barely have clothes. But if you're standing on the corner begging for money and I see a cell phone in your hand, I don't think so. When I was doing my master's degree downtown, I'd take the train in and then I'd walk to another smaller train. The hell was I talking about with that? Oh, doing my master's degree, I would walk from the Metra to the L and then I'd take the L up. Or if I had a lot of time, I'd just, you know, if it was a nice day, I'd just walk all the way there. It was like a 45 minute walk to where I needed to go or like a five minute train ride. But I would pass the same dude every day and he was just super nasty and filthy, homeless, begging for, begging for anything and everything. And then one day I walk by, he's on an iPhone. What is that? There's the super dog. If you're ever in Wheeling, never go to that. Because it's the worst place ever. They give you like a crappy hot dog and a super tiny thing of fries. They don't take credit cards, so they have an ATM in there with a huge fee. No! The food sucks, the service is poor. You know, the good stuff, the basics. They got everything wrong. What do I say for my sign off? Well, I'm sure you guys can't sit and watch a Moto Dutchman all day. I'm sure you're busy. You got hands to kiss and babies to shake. So until next time, I'll say what my grandpa always says. If I don't see you, to hell with you. One more thing. I'm always looking for new Moto Vloggers to watch. Is there anybody, you know, got all the big names, but is there anybody that I should be watching? The only other bad thing about not having mirrors up here is that I can't see if I'm still recording. I know my audio will last forever. but I only get like an hour and 20 minutes out of this GoPro.